Welcome to the vault. This is where we do straight up coin collecting. I am Tripwire, and this is a nice, chill, easy, laid back week where we're just going to be doing some coin roll hunting, looking through various different types of coins. We got our normal thing going down, so I'm going to run through today's show and show you exactly what we're going to be looking at today. Of course, we got worldwide coinage. I'm going to have to do that for sure. I'm going to draw first, and then we're going to go over the coins I've done some research on. Super cool. You know, we haven't done it in a while. We haven't done a, um, bag. Or you did not, not too long ago, but we're going to do a little grab bag today. We got This just keeps growing and growing. I got to start getting on that, really. Um, let's see. We're going to be doing uh, heads or tails. Heads. We were going to be doing the nickels. Tails are going to be the dimes. I'm really hoping for heads. <laughs> I really, really am. Okay, what else we got? Um, let's see. We, uh, we got a rap battle. There's a rap battle. New versus old. We'll see which one has the better pennies in it. Uh, we're going to go over the coins I found over this last week of me uh, looking through some uh, rolls that were going down. Um, yeah, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. A lot of it you already seen, but there's some cool things in here regardless. Um, I got a special roll today. Uh, we're going to be going over this one. I'll give you a small backstory behind that. And you cannot have a vault unless you have a search for silver. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so before we get the show started and I set up the camera, I'm going to have to slam one of these. I showed you one of their brothers, but this one's just straight up cola made out of real cane sugar, if I'm not mistaken, which is cool. And with the day I had today, I am telling you, I really need something super good. And this is definitely a good soda. So I set up the camera and we're going to get into the show. Okay, worldwide coin. Let's just see what we draw first right off the bat. Randomly grab four coins out of the bag. And let's see, we are going to do this one here for next week. We'll do that one there. We'll do this one here. Okay, we got a Canadian. We don't need that one. We'll do uh, this really cool octagon looking one. I dig that. That one's kind of cool. And last but not least, we'll do this little gem. There you go. So that is exactly what we are going to be researching next week. But right now, we're going to go over the coins that I did research on this past week. All right, here's going to be our first coin. We have ourselves this little thing that kind of got X'd out, and I really do not know why. And I think it's like a really cool design of a coin. I think it's pretty neat. I like it. Uh, let's see exactly what this is. This is actually uh, from Jamaica. It is Elizabeth II, and this is a uh, 10... I guess they call it a 10 fierce or, or 10 cent piece. I'm sorry, 10 cent piece. Uh, I hate that X. I don't know why they put the X on there. But anyhow, this is from 1969 and it is made out of copper nickel, which is cool. Now, here's the interesting thing is that in extra fine condition, and this is worth 10 cents, okay? Uh, but in uncirculated condition, this can go up to actually 50 cents. So that's cool, but this one has like somebody drew an X on it with a marker, so I don't know what's going on with that one at all. But hey, what do you want to do? Okay, second coin that we got here is this guy, or this girl, or this, is that guy or girl? I can't really tell. I am not totally sure on that one. But anyhow, this is a King George V, and this is a 1921. I like that. I like the older coins big time. I like this one. Be nice if you're facing the right way, dude. There you go. That's better. And this is a one cent piece, and it's from Great Britain. It is made of bronze, as a matter of fact, which is like really cool. Now, in good condition, this is actually up to uh, 53 cents, but in extra fine condition, I believe that it said $12.21. But that could actually be. Um, or uncirculated. That's probably what it is. I probably wrote down the wrong thing I was looking at it. Because uh, with the with these coins that we did, the four uh, worldwide coinage, I actually just got done researching them. So I was kind of like in a little bit. Normally I have it ready beforehand, but I kind of forgot about it. But I've had a busy week. Anyhow, this here's another George V. Ooh, this dude's popular. This is from Great Britain, and this is a farthing. And it is a 1936 farthing on top of it, so... That's cool. I like 1930. What's that? 1936? Is that what it says? I can't really see it too well. But yeah, so 1936. And, and this is made of bronze. Now, here's the funny part. I really could not find a solid number on it that I would agree with, uh, American dollar-wise. But according to YorkCoins.com, I guess they are selling this guy 
for $36.10. Something tells me that is not a correct number, but what do I know? So, and last but not least for worldwide coinage this week, this one is cool. This one I saved the best one for last. Look at this one. Now, I've never seen anything like this, basically, that I'm aware of, but this is a Leopold III, and um, it's a type R-A-U. I do not know what that means, but this is from Belgium, which is super cool. I really like the designs. Um, it's a five francs, and this is from 1941. And from what I gather, this is worth $1.35. But the part that I find awesome about it is that this whole pen, this whole coin is made out of zinc. I don't know if we've ever had a, a zinc coin, a, a pure zinc coin. I, I know we don't have, I don't think we have one in America, do we? If you guys know of anything in American coins where you have all zinc, please leave a comment below. I would really like to know what that is. But coming up next, we got the heads or tails. Do, do, do. Wow, we're going to have to close that one up. Okay, heads, tails. Let's see what we got. And it came up heads. All right, cool. Thank you. I didn't feel like doing dimes right now. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I flipped the nickel to open nickels. So, <laughs> go figure. That's cool. All right, let's see what we got up in here today. Uh, yep. But the weather getting nicer and nicer. It's like in the 90s now. So I'm just trying to touch a lot more. But I'm also getting hammered at work, so... Anyhow, see if we can find in here. Maybe we can find something super cool. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. I have to bring this up to scale so I can see it a little better. And if I had my glasses on, that would really, really help, right? Okay, uh, 1987. Nope. What do we got here? This is, uh... 1990. Nope. Is that, uh... Not sure I caught a little bit of glass of 2017. Yeah, this one's just ugly as heck. 78. No, not doing that. 65. I hold my 60s, and I don't know why. I just happened to do that. Because I like 60s. I don't know why. 1990. Nope. Is that a 2008? Yeah, I'm still looking for a 2009. I don't know if that's ever going to go up in value, but that's a rare one. That really is. The 2009s are rare. I think, I, like I said, I, you probably heard me say this about a thousand times. I think I only got two or three in my collection. That's a 70. Was that 12, 11? Nope. 12. Nope. Upside down is normal. 85. No. Okay, so far we've only got one that we like. What's this one? 2016? Nope. What are you? You're a 2000. No, no, you're a 1998. I'm going to flip it right, right. 77. No, we don't need that one. Looks like uh, this is not our favorite rule today. It's not cooperating with us. What are you going to give us is one coin? You suck. 85. Hold on. Win some, you lose some. 1977. Nope. Nothing cool and collectible there. Don't need any 99s. Let's see. 85. Nope. Hey, power. We got 64, okay, we got two 60s. Kind of cool. You can usually find always something in the room. Just not that coin, right? <laughs> 81, not cutting it. 17, nope. Mm -mm. Come on, help a collector out. Give me something real to work with here, please. Watch, the last one I flip over is a war nickel. Oh, I would trip. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's beauty. Beauty, eh? Uh, 2000. You dig that cord. Ugh, that's just an ugly cord. Nickel. Let's see what we got here. It's another completely destroyed. Or nothing. I can use that to buy bubble gum, I guess. Let's see. 90. This is a quiet roll, ain't it? Not doing well on this one, but you want some, lose some. 1980. Nope. 64. Okay, so we got 360s. Better than absolutely nothing. 2007, I wish you were 2009. What are you? 2016. Last one right now. Uh, no. No, not cutting it. All right, I'm going to move over to the next roll that I got here. Last week, I went and I got my tires changed. And um, what it was is they, uh, they, they owed me 48 cents. And I told them I was a coin. They didn't have it. 
kind of in a way he had to open up. He said, I got to open up a roll of pennies. I'm like, well, I got an idea. Why don't you just uh, take, open up a roll of pennies, take two out. Uh, you'll give me my 48 cents because I collect coins. He's like, really? I'm like, yeah. So this is actually a, a almost roll <laughs> that I got from the tire shop. And we're going to see if there's anything cool in it. So I didn't look at it yet or not. Let's see what we got here. Oops. Come on. Open sesame. Open sesame. Are you kidding? All right, what do we got here? Dun, dun, dun. Get rid of that. I'm move this over to the side here. I'm going to search through these. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe. We shall see right now. 2013. Nope. What's wrong? I'm sorry, guys. Upside down. 90. Nope. 11. Nope. Copper. Be copper, please. Is that 64? Let us see. Focused on you. 84. No. No, no. 2018. 2016. Da, da, da. Oh, 2017P. Am I right? Yes, I am. I'll take that. Thank you. Let's do that. We got, we've got done that one. Uh, some copper. I like the copper. 78. More copper. Cool. No, that ain't coming. That's an 83. That's just terrible and ugly. Is that an uh, D. Yeah. That's what I was afraid of. 2017p yes it is we will definitely put that in the collection for sure what do we have here oh yes happiness is tripwire yes i love these are actually my favorite pennies out of all the pennies every single penny that we ever made for some reason i just love the artwork on that one i got tons of those it's like every time i get one i just save it gonna have to go back in the archives i can't remember if i did a special on that one or not if you guys know more than I do, did I do a special on the 2000, uh, uh, yeah, on the 2000, was that nines? Yeah, that's a D. I'll have to double check that. Still trying to think of a topic for next week. I might go off the rails, and I might do something that's coin collecting, uh, relate, it's definitely going to be coin collecting related, but not going to be talking about coins. I may be thinking about talking about coin shows. There's a different ball game. There's a some copper for us. Yeah, I'll give you my take on all uh, those. You guys want to see that, or do you guys want to see 2005 uh, nickels? That was the other one I was thinking of. One of those two. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you guys want me to talk about my experiences with coin shows, or you want me to research and talk about the 2005 nickels. My channel is your channel. My shows are your shows. Don't be shy. Write something in there. I'm always up for Reading good comments, any comments. And I like taking people's ideas because it comes in handy. Copper. That's copper. Hat. Caught it. Yep. Doing this for so long, it's about copper a mile away, but I still like going through each one individually. Boom. Yep. Yeah. Right there. Let's see. 59. Is that what that is? That's 59, isn't it? Yeah, 59. We'll hold that. First year of the memorial. 74. All right, now we're getting somewhere. What do you got here? Uh, nope. Flip it. Can't tell. It's like an 86. There we go. Is this a uh, what? 87? Nope. Don't need that one. Nope. An ugly 12 on top of it. We got here. 88. Nope. 97, nope. So, yeah, a little bit out of here. I'll take it. I ain't gonna argue. 99. Nope. Get over. 2001. Nope. Nope. Last one, guys. What do we got here? Ah, 20. No. No dice on that. All right, I got, like, the bag... I'm just going to grab like a small, very small handful because I don't want to run super long on this. We still got uh, some other things we got to do. So, I'm going to grab something. Grab this. See if any, see if we can find anything here, shall we? Let's see if we can find here, which I really got to get on that more often. 
I gotta start incorporating this more because that bag is starting to get super heavy. Okay, what do we have here? This here is a 98 dime. Nope. Is it Oklahoma? No, nothing cool about the Oklahoma. This one's just crap. Crap on a stick. Flip it. No, not really. Oh, this one looks nice. This one looks really nice, actually. Check this out. Woohoo. Look at the finish on this one. Yeah, there's a couple of spots on his face, but you know what? Just, just because. Just because. Uh, let's see. We got this one here. That's nothing. This one here is a what? Seventy-eight. That's some copper. I'll take that. We got here. Twenty eighteen. Nah, not really. Get more coins. Uh, two thousand fourteen. I think that said. Either way, it's two thousand. We don't need it. No, nah, I don't think so. Yeah. Well, I don't know. What the heck? We'll hold it. We'll put it in a collection. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? Go up in value? Oh, no. Nope, can't have that. What is this here? Uh, 2002? Nope. Okay, what's this here? No, no. Down to the last five coins here. And what do we have? 2013? Nope. Got this guy here. Something looks kind of interesting. It looks kind of good, but I don't think Massachusetts is holding anything that we need. 2015? Nope. Why? Because dimes hate me. What do we got? Flip. We got nothing on that one. Last one's a quarter. Boom. My favorite coin. Uh, I always like that design. I that, that design's kind of cool. No, just for fun. Um, yeah, I'll hold that one just for fun. All right. Let's see what we got here. Now, coming up next, we are going to be doing uh, the Rat Battle. This is supposed to be heads or tails. The Rat Battle. We're going to find out which one has the better coins. I do this off camera so it'll go by a lot quicker let's see i'll tell you what you guys pick one do you think the new one's gonna be better or do you think the older one's gonna be better make your choice now all right this was a fun fun battle i had fun uh going through these two rolls um let's find out who the winner is okay the newer roll we got about uh five six seven copper pennies which is cool but i did notice this check this out i gotta switch hands real quick look at the rim on this one this is almost like a off-centered one, but it's just not enough to be a complete off-center. But the rim is actually quite interesting, very so. I thought this was going to put it over the edge. I really did. But, no. As a matter of fact, we are looking for collectible coins, and those would be over here. The older roll wins. We got just about the same amount of copper, but we got three 2017 pennies. So, yeah, the peas are definitely collectible, and... As a bonus coin, we got ourselves a rainbow. So that's going to go in our little rainbow area. So definitely, if you pick the older roll, you are the winner for sure. Okay, so I'm going to get that out of the way and out of the side. Because up next, we're going to go over some of the coins that I found this last week. So I'm going to set this up and then we'll take a look at them. All right, these are the coins that I found over this last week doing the little coin roll hunting I do every like Saturday or whatever. Um, let's see, what do we got here this week? We got, uh, what I love to call the Canadian Wheat Penny. That's kind of cool. I like finding those. That's always like a little treat for me. Two, uh, Wheat Pennies from America. They're actually in the 1950s. Found two Canadian Copper Pennies. Found about three or four, uh, 2017 peas. I love the condition of this one. It's like a 1967 but it's just in beautiful condition. I like that one. That's like really, really cool. We got the 2009 uh, Lincoln Tribute. What's it called? Lincoln Memorial. No, that's not the Memorial. Oh, the Lincoln ones. These ones. The 2009. <laughs> Anyhow, moving on. I found this coin here. And uh, this actually, look at the mirror finish on this. This I would not be surprised if it's like almost uncirculated. So that looks very beautiful. Found a 2000. 19 quarter but the problem is it's not a w rats but what are you gonna do okay this one kind of eluded me i guess i don't think i have one of these for my collection even though it's a 2012 and it has a little uh parrot on it i don't really recall seeing this coin i really don't not off the top of my head but to end it all off we got a 2005 my favorite nickel i dig those so these were the finds that i did over this last week and now it is time for everybody's favorite game show search for silver all right we're gonna strike it out major and we're probably gonna strike out major on this one too but 
keep the hopes up, keep alive. Yes, always, always, always got to keep going. You can't give up on it, right? All right. Well, let's see what we got over here. Come on, come on. Maybe we'll get lucky. Open on it. Get this one. Let's focus in on it. Wrong way. It's shiny as heck, that's for sure. 1980, nope. 94, nope. 86, nope. 94, nope. There's a problem. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, 94, nope. And then here, 81, no. 80, nope. I'd be happy right now with the bicentennial, to be honest. 2000, nope. 1980, nope. It's cool, I'm starting to get the rolls, but I'm not getting the silver. Rats, nope. 82, not happening, not happening, come on. 80, nope. 88, no. Nope, 993. Be there. You just keep moving along, dude. We got down to the last three, so. Nope. Two. Nope. Last one. Come on. Be there. 80. No. No, not again. No. Still need to find some. We haven't been finding any. Uh, rats. Okay, so ends another edition of The Vault, where we are absolutely silverless again. But anyhow, tune in next week, and maybe we will find some silver. Maybe we'll get super lucky. We may even find a 2009 nickel, which I'm still looking for. But anyhow, just keep in mind that if you are a coin collector, you are never broke. <laughs> so we'll see you next Friday on the vault. Cheers. And by the way, this is some really good soda. Later. Have a great week.